So this is now question four. So it's saying information from linear relationships is shown in three of the tables below. One table shows information from a non-linear relationship. Use first differences to determine which option shows information from a non-linear relationship. So what we have to do is we have to actually do this concept of first differences for all four of these options. So let's start with option one here. So the option eight. So we're given a bunch of numbers. We're given Q and V. So this is one, five, two, and seven, three, and nine, and four, and 11. So this concept of first emphasis is what we're going to do is we're going to take two, uh, basically these two V values here. You can think of this as X and think of this as Y, right? Um, what we have to do is we have to take basically the two of these uh, values and we have to find the difference between these two values. In this case, the difference of uh, y. So we have to focus on these y values because if you think about it, remember x here is our independent variable. Y here, y here depends on x, right? So it's our dependent variable. So seven and five, we can take we can take these two points. So seven, and then we're finding a difference. So it's subtraction. So seven minus five here equals two. What we can do is now we can look at the next set of two points. We have two and seven, three and nine now. So we can take these two points and say nine and seven here. Nine minus seven also equals two. And we have 4 and 11, 3 and 9. We take these two sets and we're only, only focusing on the y, right? So we have 11 minus 9, which equals 2. Now, these this this here is our first differences, right? And according to uh, our uh, knowledge about linear relationships, if our first differences were, is the same value for all my first differences, it's going to be a linear relationship. So that's A, which means I know that A is our linear relationship. So uh, A is not our answer here. We have to find the answer for, we have to determine which option shows a non-linear relationship. So A is definitely not the right answer. So I'll go ahead and clear this. So now we have to go through and do B now. So B gives us this value. It's one, nine, two, and five, three, and one, four, and negative three. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. So we take these two values, so two and five and one, nine. Five minus nine here, minus nine equals negative four. It's always the second number minus the top, bottom number minus the top number. You can think of it that way. Three and one here is one minus five, which also equals negative four. And negative three minus one here equals negative four. So again, our first differences here is negative four. They're all the same first differences, which means therefore this is a linear relationship, which means, sorry, I'll write that nicer relationship, which means B is the B. This is sorry. This is B. B is not our correct answer as well. So now let's move on to C. So this is now option C. C has Q and V. Again, they're all Q and V. So it's one, negative three, two, negative three, three, negative three, four, negative three. As you can see, all these V values are the same. So if I subtract these two, these two values here, negative three minus, minus negative three, it's gonna equal zero, right? Something minus itself is gonna be zero the entire time, which means this is also zero. This is also zero. Negative three minus minus three, negative three minus minus three equals zero. Again, all my first references are the same value. It doesn't matter if it's 0, 1, 2, or 3. It's the same value, which means also a linear relationship. In this case, actually, if you if you if you if you graph it out, if you say that Q is my um, independent variable and V here is my uh, dependent variable, um, I actually have a line. I have I have a horizontal line. You can think of this as uh, negative three. And it's actually these points. So it's actually a horizontal line going this way, if I kept plotting it. So therefore, linear relationship, right? And which means the only logical option here is my answer has to be D. But let's prove it. So I'm not, for D, given these values, right? So one, negative one, two, and two, three, and six, and four, and 11. So let's take these first differences. I have two minus 
minus one uh, is going to give me three. Uh, I have six and two minus two, that equals four. And 11 minus six equals five, which means th I have three, four, and five as my first inferences, therefore it's nonlinear, which makes, sorry, I'll make that nicer, nonlinear, which means D is my answer.